What is up guys, welcome back. Um, it is now 2020, so today I thought I would do a quick video just to do my resolutions for the year. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. First, I just wanna say thank you guys for an awesome year last year. Last year was my first full calendar year on YouTube, which was fun. Today I've got some resolutions I just wanna share with you guys. Um, I don't know if y'all care, but if you do, cool. If you wanna leave your resolutions in the comments, cool. Um, I actually spent a while asking people about their resolutions so that I could come up with mine because I wanted them to be good. Um, so I hope you enjoy. First is freaking flossing. I don't know why, but flossing for me, I just can't. It, I, I do floss, it's not like I don't floss. I'm flossing every day. Oh my god, I don't know why, it just is a struggle for me, so I'm working on it. So far, we're very solid. Second, related to the channel, is um, my goal is 150 subs for the year. I figure, I don't know, 50 more subs is a good, well, 40 whatever more subs is a good goal um, for the year. Obviously, I'd hope for more, but if we can get 50 more, that would be great. Third one's kind of a basic one, um, be kind. I think that being kind is good. Um, there are often times where I, you know, look back on situations where I wasn't necessarily mean, but I'm like, oh, I could have been nicer. I could have, you know, smiled to that person that passed by just to like maybe try and brighten their day. So that's number three. Number four is really trying to not take too much offense to stuff. No one, no one typically is trying to be mean. At least not towards me. I don't think. Um, and if you are, ha, huh, you're doing a poor job. But. Yeah, so number four is try and take things lightly. Just because I'm just doing me and I don't want to change because other people want me to, so why do I care? Number whatever one we are on now is drinking water and eating food. And when I say this, this sounds dumb. I know. And for those of you who don't know me too well, or basically anyone other than my direct family, y you don't know, but I'm very bad at eating food and drinking water. I will oftentimes go many days without water and will oftentimes go many days in a row with maybe only one meal a day. Normally I eat in a day, but it might just be like one bagel in a day, which is just not healthy. That's not good. Uh, so I'm gonna work on that. Yeah, cause well, one, my doctor told me two and two, it's good. So far I've been doing really well. I'm having lots of water. Turns out the key is ice. Ice water is so much better than normal water. It doesn't make any sense cause it's just water in water, but it's so freaking good. Number six is that I want to volunteer and donate my time more. Um, that's definitely something that I did more when I was younger. I think mainly cause I had a lot more free time, but I would do a lot of mission trips. I would do a lot of volunteering um, through the school or through whatever. And so I just want to, I want to get back into it more because especially doing the um, fun rate donation, whatever you want to call the thing that I did at the end of last year, um, it just felt really good, you know, like making that contribution, it feels great. I mean, <laughs> maybe want to do it more. So I'm hoping this year I can take it up another level or two. Number seven is I want to focus on being as eco-friendly as I can. A bit easier than some places being in Vermont, but I definitely want to make a more conscious decision, decision, decision. Decision. Everything from like not using straws, not using paper, plastic, using reusable bags. Um, but then also, I just want to, you know, focus on not having stuff I don't need. For someone who's very minimalistic, as you can tell from my very minimalistic room, well, it's the same throughout the whole thing. There's nothing up on the walls except for lights. Basically, I just, I, I don't want to start spending money on stuff that I don't need. Not because of the money, but because. I don't wanna get stuff that I'm gonna end up throwing in. I'm trying to be more eco-friendly, that is number seven. Number eight is another thing that you guys probably don't know about me unless you are super close to me, but uh, is I wanna work on making a bedtime routine. I am so, so bad at like falling asleep with a device and stuff. Not only my phone, I'll only put my, put my phone away, but like the camera right now is directly in front of my nice TV and uh, so I'll just, you know, it's got a bedtime timer on it, so I'll turn it on for an hour and play YouTube, and it's it's not a good habit. I, it just, it keeps me up later than I want, and I want to be able to fall asleep without needing a screen, so that is the goal for 2020. That was number eight. Number nine is that, um, <laughs> I, I know I've said this before, I'm really bad at reading, and I haven't actually read the Harry Potter series. I, in October, read the first four chapters of the first book of Harry Potter, and haven't touched it since. I haven't read Harry Potter all the way through, my goal in 2020, which I'll probably need the whole year, 
is to finish reading the first book of Harry Potter. Okay, so I went into this list with 10 things, but I'm gonna add a few more before I get to the last one. Mainly, my goal is to try and post every week a new video, which I know won't happen. Well, I don't know it won't happen, but I'd, I would be very, very surprised if it happened. But I think if I have that goal, I can try to keep to it. Um, this video, I think, is my seventh week in a row posting, which I'm like so excited about. Like, makes me feel so good having that routine. And whenever I post a video, I always like get so excited. We'll film one the next day and then not post it because I forget to edit it. But I like wish I had the time to post daily, but I can't. So we're gonna work for every Sunday. 5 o'clock, having a new video. Hopefully we can get one video each week for most of the year. And finally, my last resolution is that I want to try and think of a highlight every day. You know, whether it's something like, hey, this, this nice person smiled at me or waved at me. You know, it doesn't matter that you failed 50 exams, you got hit by a car and now your leg is broken. The doctor was really nice to you about it. You know, like there's always a positive. So I think that that's going to be my final resolution. Um, to just focus on the positives, kind of stay positive, woohoo! And I would, you know, challenge y'all to try and do the same. You obviously don't have to, you can focus on the negatives all you want, I don't care, but um, I would wish for you to feel positive, so yeah. Alright, so that does it, um, those are my resolutions, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, head down below, leave a like, feel free to comment your resolutions, but I'd be interested to see what other people's resolutions are, and uh, hit that subscribe button so we can get to 150. One, fifty. I'll see you guys next week with another video. Goodbye.